Hello everyone, welcome to PT Reading and Writing Filling the Blanks Real Exam Question Series Number 17, it means that we have discussed 16 highly repetitive and real exams reading and writing filling the blanks in this series. So let's get started. First things first, now PT is accepted for UK and 90% of Canadian universities also accept PT academics so you can achieve your goal of studying in Canada through PT also and a new test which is PT home is, has been started so if you are looking to apply for spouse visa in UK you can go for PT home test. My name is Bharat Bridge and I have scored a perfect 90 in all the 10 skills of PT and in this series we discuss the reading hacks, tips and tricks so that you guys can also score your marks in reading as well as writing. Yes, because reading and writing filling the blanks give marks to your reading as well as writing. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we post such helpful videos where we discuss the reading tips, tricks and hacks almost on a daily basis. So PT reading, it's an integrated module where you have 32 to 41 minutes to solve your all questions and you have five question types and the reading and writing filling the blanks are the first question type in this order so you can manage your time well that you know that the most important questions are coming in the first so this is the real reading scoring the 90 of PT reading module is not just from reading but from speaking writing as well as listening the reading contributes just 47 marks but out of those 22 marks in reading and 22 marks in writing yes this is how much important reading and writing filling the blanks are that they contribute 22 marks in your reading and 22 marks in your writing so all the questions if you are getting four or five reading and writing filling the blanks so they will be of worth 22 marks guys so that's why it's very important whatever your target score is you have to put emphasis on solving reading and writing filling the blanks. So as per our big data analysis we could find out that you can spend just three minutes on solving one reading and writing filling the blank. So in that what mistakes students do is that they read all the works that is a wrong strategy and we have to do the skimming because we cannot understand the meaning we cannot do everything in three minutes if we are reading all the words so this is today's topic as usual i'm going to give you 30 seconds and then we will discuss it Okay, so I'm back. So you know that the first thing we do is to skim to understand the tone, to understand the tense and the gist of reading and writing. Filling the blank, the tone can be positive, negative, neutral or academic. And tense can be mixture of tenses, maybe past tense, present tense, future tense and gist is the overall idea. So let's start doing the skimming. Okay, a good story, author, so start failure. Novices. What are novices? Novices are people who are getting started. You can say newbies also. Okay. Newbies are peculiarly something to this fault. Now I want you guys to increase your vocab also because it's very important to have a good vocab if you want to crack your reading and your target score is 79. So what is peculiarly? Peculiar means something which is belonging to or you can say a particular group of person or people are having something. So that is peculiar. Okay usually through something themselves to be easily satisfied they go to something pains to make the story fresh cap it with a something phrase now what is cap it with it is like you can say mentioning something in addition to okay in addition to so cap it with the phrase means they are mentioning along with the story they put it additional phrase we are going to see which blank is going to come over here and worse no than title a good title is apt specific attractive new and short a title is apt if it's an outgrowth of the plot. It stands definitely for that particular story and gives in suggestion. The pronunciation for this guys is suggestion. So what is to come but only a suggestion. Let's say what this word is. This word is denome. Okay. This is not denouement. It is 
denome okay what does this word mean denome it means that a finale right something like a finale or you can say end result okay you need to know the good vocab guys if you want to crack reading and writing filling the blanks because this is going to be solved just on the basis of context and so something the curiosity of the reader too soon okay so we have seen this is related to the titles we have two type of story writers one are the beginners then we are talking about title what a good title is what a bad title is and then how newbies or the novices write titles okay so now let's see the blanks first okay so novice remember you do not have to read all the words understand the meaning what we are going to focus is we are going to focus on these two three words before the blank two three words after the blank okay so novices are peculiarly to this fault fond to this fault no the phrase is fond of so that's why we are going to eliminate now we have started doing process of elimination which i have said multiple times is best friend forever so it cannot be fond to it will be fond of favoring to this fault doesn't make sense liable to this fault yes it makes sense and let's see the next one fascinated to this fault no the phrase is fascinated with you get fascinated with something so that's why on the only word which is fitting contextually is liable okay so we are going to choose this one liable to this fault okay usually through something themselves to be easily satisfied means they get easily satisfied now through inviting themselves will a person invite themselves no they cannot invite themselves see why i'm saying this is going to be filled on the basis of your context because if you see everything is ending with ing you do not have an idea if we have different verb forms then we can apply grammar logics but over here there will be no grammar logics this has to be solved on the basis of context your vocab forcing themselves to be easily satisfied can you force someone to be satisfied the answer is no writing themselves usually through writing themselves can they write themselves no it doesn't make sense so again using process of elimination we are just left with one blank which is allowing themselves okay they allow themselves so this is what we have filled moving on to the next one they go to some thing pains to make the story itself fresh and individual okay so now you are taking a lot of pains like this is we say a lot of okay right a lot of pains you take to go the mile to walk the mile this is how we say so that's why it will be a lot of so we are looking for a synonym which is related to a lot of so few pains can this be few pains what does few means few means almost zero okay now this is a important grammar rule which we tell to our students what we generally confuse is few and a few what we want to say is some pains right so it will be a few when you are using few without a it means almost zero pains okay so are they going through almost zero pains no you cannot say no large pains right large is used for quantities like large right pain is qualitative not quantitative so that's why a large number you cannot measure the pain it's like this you have 10 liters of pain no you cannot say yes you can say more pain or less pain but there is no metric or parameters to define it right so that's why we cannot use large also and little pains doesn't make sense okay so will you take little pains to make the story fresh no so again using process of elimination we are just left with one and that also fits contextually they go to infinite pains a lot of pains a lot of the synonym in this context for a lot of is infinite they go through infinite pains to make the story itself fresh and individual and then cap it with a some phrase okay that is worse than no title means the phrase is no worse than the title so peculiar but does we had seen that peculiar means that we had seen this word already in an adverb form which is peculiarly like belonging to the phrase or a particular group of people if it's belonging to a particular group of people why it will be not interesting or it will be worse it should be good so that's why based on the connotation we are going to remove this word or eliminate this word but its connotation that is the association of the word so it will be positively associated or negatively associated so 
peculiar cannot be negatively associated downwards phrase what is downwards phrase doesn't make sense or upward phrase have you heard of a phrase no but you can say the phrase is common okay so the common or the synonym over here for common is common place phrase that is no was the title already the title at like title is bad right over here we have seen the title is bad so phrase is also no worse than title so that's why we are using this word which is left which is commonplace phrase okay now let's see the last blank and again you do not have to read all through this i'm telling you again and again so uh, we will start with like this from here till here we will read and we'll try to solve this because you have to do the time management also so anticipate anticipate means predict dinome we have seen it's the finale okay or the end result to predict the end result and so something the curiosity of the reader too soon deepen the curiosity are you deepening the curiosity the answer is no we had skimmed it and we have already have skimmed and seen that the title should be an outgrowth of the plot means whatever the central story is should grow the title should help it to grow the central part theme so it will not deepen the curiosity okay how title will deepen the curiosity no idle so what is idle idle is more or less pointless or lazy right so lazy the curiosity no it doesn't make sense quench the curiosity yes you may say so yes the thirst is quench right if you know about that phrase which is quenching the thirst yes but what is quench it is satisfying thirst by drinking or quench by drinking so are you drinking something if this would have been related to your something liquid yes you could have used this quench but yes the quench means satisfy quench the thirst means satisfy the thirst but it's like more or less related to drinking so that's why we are going to eliminate this one also because we are not dealing with liquids over here we are dealing with curiosity and moreover whatever is left again through process of elimination it makes more sense to satisfy the curiosity so we say it like this okay i want to satisfy my curiosity you should satisfy his curiosity so the right option for this one should be satisfy so now let's see if all the answers are correct yes all the answers are correct so our strategy for solving reading filling the blanks is based on the context and all these strategies we teach to our students in detail lexical resource as well as grammar we have approximately 30 lecture series of grammar where we discuss each and every concept of grammar because to get 79 plus it's very important to have a good hold of grammar so you can do the skimming you can do forward reading we had seen doing skimming today forward reading backward reading we knew that if we're talking about the title it cannot be positive because we had done the forward and the backward reading and tone it's important to know if it's positive negative we had eliminated one option today because that option was positive which is peculiar you can say we, we couldn't associate it with a negative term and collocations collocations are very important we have a separate course for collocations also phrasal verbs quite important vocabulary the more you build the better it is for cracking your reading and for grammar as i said we have a detailed complete grammar course where we teach our students parts of speech subject verb agreement prepositions because today we could solve the on the basis of prepositions with we know that where we used of so we knew that one answer was solved on the basis of phrasal verbs or with prepositions then models articles determiners signposting words tenses irregular verbs or plurals british english rules quite important sentence formation complex sentences compound sentences we teach all these things to our students who take coachings from us because it's quite important to know these concepts if you want to get to 79 plus or even 65 plus if your target score is 65 plus and remember you have two and a half or maximum of 3 minutes to solve your reading and writing filling the blanks in first 30 to 60 seconds you are going to skim the content in the next 90 to 120 seconds you have to look for clues you have to find pointers and use process of elimination which is your best friend forever and all the strategies which we teach are validated and proven strategies the proof is in the ticker below you can see the scores of the students who have achieved their target score and these are some recent success stories where students have scored a 90 perfect 
This is our WhatsApp number 8699121121. You can WhatsApp us if you have any questions or doubts or if you want to take coaching from us in institute or online. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we post such informative and useful videos to help you improve your reading skills almost on regular basis. We give wings to your dreams.